ATP. Some of you guys may have never come across this before. Um, I'm only deciding to teach it to my students this year now, so I'm going to try and break this down in like an easy kind of way to understand, hopefully. Um, I have a dumb break here, but you guys can pause whenever you want to have a break. I'm not going to be breaking though, so we'll just get started. So what is ATP? So ATP is a really big part of the study design in PE um, and in bio too, in chemistry if you're doing that. But in PE, it's really, we talk about energy systems and how our body creates energy, which we can use for muscular contractions. So what is ATP? It's adenosine triphosphate. Um, it's a type of molecule which we kind of call the energy currency of the cell or of the human body. And so we'll be looking um, regarding ATP at the three energy systems in the body which produce this energy currency. And so these three energy systems are going to be the ATP PC system, anaerobic glycolysis system, and the aerobic system. So these three systems are used in order to actually produce this energy currency, ATP. So ATP is, uh, it stands for adenosine triphosphate. I have not written that down here, but you don't have to write that down in your exam because it's so long. Uh, but I just find it useful to know ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Tri means three, phosphate is a phosphate molecule. So it's an adenosine molecule plus three phosphate molecules. If you've done a uh, bio before, you might actually recognize a, the A, um, adenosine, which is actually a nucleotide. So when I realized that, it blew my mind. It was like, what? Stuff in P crosses over with stuff in bio? And I was like, what? I thought that was really cool. Um, anyways, ADP is the only source of energy which is used for muscular contractions in our body. So when one of the phosphate molecules breaks away from ATP, it releases energy that we can use for muscular contractions. So you can see here adenosine and three phosphate molecules. What happens is that we actually break this bond here. And you'll know, hopefully, or you will come to know, that lots of bonds in chemistry and biology contain lots of energy. So when you break these bonds and snap them, you actually release energy. And so we can actually use that energy for our muscular contractions. And so converting ATP, three phosphates, to ADP, two phosphates, and an inorganic phosphate molecule, we snap that bond and we actually release energy which we can use for our muscular contractions. <clears throat> um, so all three energy systems, which I mentioned before on the first slide, uh, they all aim to rebuild ATP from ADP. So basically it's like an entire recycling process whereby we have ATP, we snap a bond and release the energy there and end up with ADP plus one inorganic phosphate. And then we recycle that and make that ADP back into ATP. And so once again, we end up with a three phosphate molecule. And so we can keep going through that process, snap that bond, release it rejoin, snap that bond, release the energy, rejoin. So pretty much we keep rebuilding that ATP up from ADP in order to ensure that we've got this energy source that we can snap that bond and release that energy. So yeah, as I mentioned, it pretty much gets recycled back into ATP. And I just thought it was kind of cool that each person kind of uses their own body weight's worth of ATP per day. Like, that's so much ATP. And each ATP molecule will be recycled about 500 to 750 times daily. So this isn't really examinable, but I do think it's quite interesting. 